So today was a monumental day for Ampere, for RPE, and for the state of Alaska and the progress of our industry. We finished a record-breaking flight program from Southern California, passing up through the states, crossing through Canada, and landing at the Fairbanks International Airport today. Ampere has been a project that we've supported uh, for about seven years now, and we've been supporting the efforts by using their aircraft as a test platform for some of our programs. And using the Ampere test platform allows us to now demonstrate the capabilities of these advanced electronics. It was really pretty special to be able to get off of the Alaska Airlines jet there at the Fairbanks International Airport and to literally just go down the runway and see the electric eel. This is a twin engine, half combustion, half electric aircraft that is able to fly over a thousand miles in a single hop. What do Ampere have done? They've taken their plane from uh, Southern California uh, by a number of stops up through the United States, through Canada, Yukon, and finally here to Fairbanks, Alaska. It is the longest hybrid electric aircraft flight in history. That's what makes it really special. So we're ultra excited about that. It's extremely exciting, and it's also a fantastic demonstration of their technology and its capability. Alaskans fly more than anybody else in the country. Per capita, there are more small aircraft pilots in Alaska than anywhere else. And it's not just because we like to fly, it's because we have to fly. Over 80% of our communities are not connected by road. We travel by air, and it's small airplanes, sometimes it's jet service with Alaska Airlines, but more often than not, it's smaller aircraft. Alaska is one of the most challenging areas in terms of being able to demonstrate hybrid electric aircraft. If this can happen in Alaska, it shows that it can also happen everywhere else in the U.S. as well as in the world.